So I just made a video against Trinity uh, because uh, I want to talk about something else now. But what I noticed is that uh, and there is a uh, large group of Christians who do start to see things, right? But um, I want to urge Christians to open your mind uh, for the fact that all these doctrines that has been brought through the ages, um, that they might be wrong, even though your Bible translation may something say something. Uh, but I want to talk about the lost tribes of Israel were found, and this is one of the most misunderstood um, thing and hidden thing all through history, right? Hi, Cynthia. God bless you. So many people are offended what I uh, teach because I made uh, over 200 videos going into detail, proving everything, right? Yes, I still find more and more things and uh, there are some little things um, I am meditating upon but there are some historical and biblical facts that we cannot deny and we have always missed it and it is right there staring us in the face, right? Um, so as a true Christian you should be open for correction, right? And I'm not just some guy who decided on Facebook uh, to become a teacher, right? I, I have, like I always say, I have proven my faith, right? I have done things so God can show me, right? I'm not saying uh, I'm the I'm the best teacher in the world. No, I have so much to learn. But what I do talk about that has a lot of years of research in it, right? So at least hear me out, right? Okay, so the lost tribes of Israel, who are they? Right? First of all, I want to say that I don't care who you are, right? If you're Latino or African or Chinese, right? If you love God, you want God, you want Jesus Christ, you want to keep the Beatitudes, you want a relationship with God, you know, do it, right? But that doesn't take the fact away, the fact that there are actual lost tribes, right? Because the teaching that by believing you become spiritual Israel, it, it is not true. But if you tell people uh, what, what they teach in, in the Zionist churches, if it, these churches tell them these people in the Middle East, they are the real Jews, they are the real Israelites, everyone prays to them, sends money there, they want to be among those people, they will even want to have Jewish teachers to listen to, right? Everybody loves these people. But if you say they are Europeans, everyone, even now people with made look of, oh, what is he talking about, right? But I can prove it to you, and I'm going to prove it to you in a nutshell. And again, I'm not saying that if you're not European, that it's not for you, no, right? I, I think we all should come to Yahweh, right? But there are some biblical facts that we have overlooked, and the Bible prophesied that they would, um, they, they would forget who they are and it's happening the real Israelites forgot who they were right? and it is all based on misconceptions mistranslations and if you're still listening right praise God because this is important for the Bible says if you bless Israel you'll be blessed if you curse Israel you'll be cursed so it's very important to understand who Israel is is the light to the world that was established by God, right? So everyone can see that light, right? And say, that is the true God. That's the God. And that happened through history, even though we started to take it for granted what happened in history. Eve even made the history an evil thing, right? While the gospel was spread all over the world, but it is taken for granted now, right? So one of uh, I was just in a discussion, one of the things that immediately comes up, now Paul said, there is no difference between Jew and Greek. What was Paul talking about? Right? Were these Greek different people? Now, if you really understand the Old Testament, all the prophecies, uh, if you read Hosea, if you read Jeremiah, if you read Isaiah, not only Isaiah 9-6, if you really sit down, and you study and you read the Bible to the real understanding, you know that 
that Israel was divided into kingdoms. The northern kingdom of Israel and the southern kingdom of Judah. Right? The northern kingdom of Israel was taken away by the Assyrians for the idolatry. It was all prophesied. They, got, they became the ten lost tribes of Israel. And when Jesus came, there was only Judah left. And within Judah, basically all remaining two tribes were in Jerusalem. Right? So Jesus came to the Judeans first and then to the nations. Right? The Bible talks about Gentiles. But Gentiles, do you know when Jerome in the 4th century translated it in the Latin in the word Gentiles, it meant people of the same kind. Thousand years later, the definition of Gentile was changed. But Jesus said, and Christians don't want to believe it, Jesus said, I did not come but for the last sheep of Israel. Now we know, if we understand the Old Testament, that the ten tribes were these lost sheep of Israel. So Jesus came for them to reconcile them. So they had to be somewhere, right? The church teaches us that they are still lost. Uh, they evaporated in history. And then now the, the gospel went to the Gentiles. That is not what the Bible is talking about, right? So, Jesus came for the lost sheep of Israel. Where were they? They were not in Judah. There was only uh, Judahites and Benjamites left. Maybe a few Levites. All the other tribes were gone. Where were they? Right? Well, black Hebrew Israelites like to claim that they are those lost tribes. Right? But where was Paul going? What did Paul say to the people he went to? Right? Paul went to Europe, right? And if you have a Bible and you're interested, open up 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 10, verse 1 to 5. Paul told these people in Greece, and you can look at statues of how these Greeks looked like in Corinth, and they looked like white Caucasian people. And Paul, and it's right there in your Bible, but we have been blind to it. I, I didn't see it, but you can look it up yourself. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1 to 5. Paul told those white people in Greece that, that, that you should not be ignorant, brothers, because your fathers came out of Egypt. They, came all, they were all under the cloud. They all passed through the sea. They were all baptized in Moses. Paul told them they were the lost tribes. Paul also went to Rome. He told the Romans that they were covenant breakers. Well, if you are a Gentile, how can you be a covenant breaker? Now, these Romans were, were part of the lost tribes of Israel because they were covenant breakers. They broke the covenant and God divorced them. But Jesus died for them to, to reconcile them, right? According to prophecy, the two stakes, that is Judah and Israel, would be one again. But the church takes away all prophecy and makes a big mess of things, right? So, what was Paul talking about? There is no difference between Jew and Gentile, or Jew and Greek. The difference was what they thought, what the Judeans thought, was because in Judah, the Judahites and Benjamites still kept the law, right? The law stripes did no longer keep the law, right? So Paul said there is no difference. Christ came for them all, right? He died for them all, right? It was the Jude Judeans who kept the law, who wanted to Judaize the law stripes, they said, no, 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 first you have to keep the law of Moses, then you can be saved. And Paul said, no, the salvation is by grace through faith. And European people heard the gospel and they believed. That's why Europe became effortless Christian, right? There was a difference in the Catholic Church, there was a hope going on, that's, that's not a topic, but Europe 
the European nations became the only nations in the world who established nations based on God's laws. No other nations, not in Africa, not in China, not in India, only in Europe, because they are the lost tribes of Israel. They are the only ones in the world who translated the Bible in multiple languages. They are the only ones who went all over the world to spread the gospel. They are the only ones who created nations all over the world, right? Europe, America, Canada, South Africa, New Zealand, Australia. Only these people created nations based on God's laws. No other nations, right? So. European people are by fact the lost tribes. <coughs> now I'm saying if you're not a European uh, what about us? Uh, no. You want God you want a relationship with God, you go to Him. Right? But we cannot ignore the fact what happened. Right? There has been a discussion so long uh, back and forth of for centuries are we saved by grace? Does that mean we are no longer keeping the law? People are all confused. Now it is talking about the first century. The debate was about the Judeans still kept the law. The northern ten tribes who were in Europe did not keep the law. The debate was, should they also go to the law of Moses to be saved? And Paul said, no, there is no difference. You keep the law, they did not keep the law, right? But all of you are on the sin. No, not, not one is righteous. No, not one, right? The salvation came through grace, by grace, through faith. Whether you're a lost tribe without the law or a Judean with the law, in Christ there is no difference. And if these lost tribes believed in Christ, they entered the new covenant. And what did Jeremiah say, uh, right? He said, and God said, I will make a new covenant with the house of Judah and with the house of Israel. And I will place my laws in their minds and in their hearts. That's the new covenant, right? That was outside of the works of the law. They would enter into this new, new covenant where the laws were written in their heart. And the proof of this is a 2000 year history where Europe became Christian nations. So Nigerians who claim to be the lost tribes is just nonsense. They have nothing to show for, not no history, and they're trying to deceive many people, right? But there's only one people in the world who helped other nations, who brought civilizations all over the world, brought Christ all over the world. Only one people. Of the last 2000 years, there's only one people who did believe in Christ and built nations on the Christ, those are the European people, not those Jews in the Middle East, right? And that's also not a point, right? Even real sons of God, they believe they are poor grafted in Gentiles, grafted into a Jewish tree. Listen, this Jewish tree is an unbelieving tree. You're not grafted into a Jewish unbelieving tree. The true vine, the true tree is Jesus Christ. And the Europeans believed it because the church never talks about it, but the first church was built by Israelites. All the disciples were Israelites. Jesus was an Israelite. Jesus was not a Jew. Jesus was an Israelite. And that's the whole other topic. I can explain to you that in a 400 years time, there is a gap between the Old and the New Testament. But in the second century, before Jesus came, the Israelites made proselytes of Edomites and Canaanites. They all entered into Judaism, and by then Judaism came out of Babylon. There was Moses mixed with Babylonian philosophy, what eventually became the Talmud. So these were not Israelites, these were Edomites. And these same Edomites, together with the people from Southern Europe, the Khazar, they also became Jews, but they were not Israelites. They claim to be Jews, but they're not. They're of the synagogue of Satan, right? Most Christians still praise these people who didn't even believe in Christ, right? They say, well, they might not believe in Christ, but they still believe in Yahweh. No, 
First of all, they, they can't even pronounce the way of Yahweh. They don't want to put it in the mouth. They call him Hashem. Jesus said, no one can come to the Father except by me. Do you believe that? Do you believe those words? Right? Do you believe that Jesus is the way to the Father? For without Jesus, it's impossible to have a relationship with the Father. Right? So forget about those people in the Middle East. They are not the Israelites. And by the way, go to, I think it's Habakkuk chapter 1, you see that it is Edom that would return to rebuild the ruins, right? The true Israelites was promised a new land, a new land, right? God destroyed the temple, God destroyed Jerusalem, they were going to have a new land, and that's Europe. So Jesus came to redeem the lost tribes taken away by Assyria. And he did not fail. He did it. He reconciled them. But in order to be reconciled 2,000 years ago, you had to be in a relationship first. For that's what reconciliation means. You were in a relationship. The relationship was broken. And now you can, what's going to be reconciled. That happened 2,000 years ago. European people heard they remembered, they believed, but we now in this time, we have forgotten who we were and we praised the wrong people. And we are supposed to be a light to the world, right? The prophecy is that through Abraham, all nations will be blessed. We are that seed of Abraham. People say, no, no, it's not about a physical seed of Abraham. It's about spiritual. If you believe, then you become a seed of Abraham. No, that is not what it's talking about. It's talking about that people can be physical descendant of Abraham, of Isaac and Judah, but you still have to put your faith in Christ. Just being a descendant of Jacob is not enough. You have to believe, believe, right? And belief came by hearing. They heard and Europe became Christian. They became the new Jerusalem, right? And we are now in a short season where God's nations are deceived again. Right? So if you really have a zeal and love people in Africa and China, right? We have to put our own house in order first. We have to be that light, that like a lamp on a hill, right? So they can see that light, right? But they don't, they don't see that light, right? For, for, for five, six hundred years, they have gone to Africa, tried to convert them, and they were eaten. Right? or killed even now 2000 years later right you have a few Christians here and there look at Nigeria as 80% Muslim these are not the Israelites right and my seal is that Africa one day would learn to govern themselves and there will be peace no more tribal wars where they eat each other and kill each other right my hope is that every nation on this earth will be blessed but it can only happen if you remember who you are that you are a true son of God not a poor adopted grafted into a Jewish tree a uh, Gentile no you are a truly son of God and if you realize who you really are the Holy Spirit will come in you tenfold you already felt it it will become even stronger right and our laws will protect us we have now mass immigrations of muslims in europe right we have other gods other peoples taken over right now why because people walked away from god and that wall of protection is gone that wall of fire that wall of god's instructions god's law was always a wall of fire the enemy couldn't go through right people have walked away from god they don't know who they are right and now other gods are taken over right so we have to wake up who we are, right? Wake up, right? Because we are the sons of God. And if we love other nations and other peoples, right? We have to first get our own house in order that we will shine so bright that all over the world they can see that light and know who the one true God is. God bless.